Now, guys, uh, we are on the very last activity you will have to do for the school year. Um, now, the reason I am ending with Imagine Math is this is a tool that will be available throughout the entirety of summer. So is it a requirement to do it every day? Absolutely not. I do want you guys to enjoy your summer. But at the same time, students who take advantage of this and work on this fairly consistently are going to be really prepared come next year. So the more you work on Imagine Math throughout the summer, the better you'll be entering um, eighth grade next year. So it's kind of up to you to determine the level of commitment you want to have with this. Um, but from my perspective and trying to um, give you guys the best advice, I would do this as often as I can. Um, really, consistency is going to lead to that long-term growth. But do enjoy your summer, and I'm not going to check on it as a full requirement, but you have to make those judgment calls. Now, what I want to go over is some important information here just to make sure we're clear on some of the tools within Imagine Math that can help you um, throughout the summer. Now, keep in mind, I'm still here to help generally. You can always reach out, but I want to explore the tools in here. Um, first off, you click these microphones, they will read the questions to you um, and the answer choices if you need them. So these kind of corner microphones here. Down in the bottom right, uh, you can switch the language. So if you need it to be in Spanish, you can switch it to Spanish. And then when you when it reads it out loud, it will read it in Spanish, okay? If you need it on English, English. Um, now, a calculator will pop up here, and you can click it as needed. If there is no calculator there, the expectation for that question is you do not need a calculator. Um, glossary will list important vocabulary terms in alphabetical order, and formulas will list important formulas you may need depending on the topic you are using. Now, within the pre-quiz, it is very important you do your absolute best on the pre-quiz, particularly if you know the topic. Now, why is this? Well, in the pre-quiz, if you pass the pre-quiz, meaning you get, it's kind of a different metric, but you want to get basically all of them right or as close to all of them right. Because if you demonstrate you know it, it's going to skip the lesson for you. And what you don't want to have to do is go through all these additional steps if you know how to do the content. So pre-quizzes are very important, specifically if you see something and you know how to do it. You need to knock it out of the ballpark so you're not spending time doing things you know how to do. Now, if you do not pass the pre-quiz, it is indicative that you do not know how to do that topic. It's not a bad thing. It's just the reason you didn't pass is because you didn't know it well enough. So don't think you knew it because you didn't. If you did, you would have done better. Okay, so that's just flat out information there. So you'll go through this pre-quiz and let's say um, if we passed, we would just go forward to the next pre-quiz. Now, if we didn't, it's going to push us over here to this warm-up. And this warm-up is a game. It's up to you. You can even skip it. So I'm going to skip it. Now, I'm going to go into part three, which is this guided learning. By the way, when you guys are doing it, you can't click forward. You have to complete it to move forward. The only thing you can skip is the warm up. The reason I'm able to skip is because I'm on a teacher account so I can skip through these. Now, in the guided um, learning, you're going to have something over here called tools, okay, which gives you things like bar models, number lines, fraction, pieces, area models, base 10. Use those. But more importantly, there is something called math help. Very few of you are using this because I can see when it's being used on my end. There will be two help features here. So this goes back to when, um, you know, you're working over this over the summer and you need help. Go here first. You're going to have two different helps. So it's, it's displaying it in two different ways. Now, the third thing you have is Imagine Math Teacher. This is a live teacher who is there to help you. Now, you are not going to be able to use this feature unless you try first. What you see here is effort is important. First study both helps, then try and answer. If you then have a question, you can work with the Imagine Math teacher. So the reason I can't access it right now is I haven't tried to answer the question yet. I immediately went to the help and didn't really kind of persevere through it. But once you, you guess an answer and you start getting things incorrect and you're putting forth that effort and you're struggling, use these math help tools. There is someone through Imagine Math who is paid, who's an expert on the program to help you. It can either be a text, a voice chat, or I think also a video chat. So please use that.
It's here. Math help. Do not get frustrated if you don't know. Use the tools. They are there for you. Um, so after you get through guided uh, learning, you will transition into practice. And practice is important because it's going to prep you through this uh, for this post quiz. And the post quiz is your chance to finish that lesson because once you finish the practice and then you get to the post quiz, if you don't pass the post quiz, they're going to um, redirect you to a lesson that's at a lower level, have you pass that, and then you're going to have to try this lesson again at some point. So per, I would prefer you take longer times on lessons to make sure by the time you get to the post quiz, you're fully confident. Um, because if you're just trying to rush through, you're going to be in a cycle of just doing the same thing over and over again because you're not really taking the time to to understand the content. And that's not what we want. I'd rather you know you only get five lessons done and take a lot of time on them than to do the same two lessons over and over again because you keep failing them because you're not taking the time, you're not using the help, so on and so forth to actually master it. Um, but once you... Um, have demonstrated the mastery of content in the post quiz, then you will move to the next assignment. So I just wanted to quickly uh, run through the uh, the tools and what it looks like from your guys' perspective. Now I'm going to transition really quick so you guys can see what I see from the teacher's perspective in the teacher dashboard. This is the home page I see. Um, when I log into Imagine Math, now you're going to see some names blurred out because I just don't want everyone's information out there. But this is generally what you see. Now over here to the left, you see what's called an activity feed. It's similar to like, you know, a social media like Instagram feed or Facebook feed where as you guys work through, through things, I can see what you did, what time you did it, and whether you failed or passed a lesson. I also have the ability to like, like you would see in a social media website like Facebook, and I can also comment um, based on how you guys are performing. Over here on the right, I see your usage overall um, as a school. I can also break this down and click the usage tab to look at individuals. Um, and down here on the left, I have the overall leaderboard through the entirety of the program. Um, I can switch this from lesson past, excuse me, to think points. Um, and down here we have class goals. Unfortunately, we didn't get to utilize this fully because of what happened with uh, COVID-19. Um, but this is something we talked about in class as well. Now, over here to the left, you will see this reports tab. What this does is it gives me a ton of information on what you guys are doing. So, for instance, if I click uh, usage over here as it loads, I can see the active students in each class, the average lessons the average time. I can go into each one and I'm not going to do this now um, because I would have to blur the whole page, but I can see you guys as individuals um, and see what you're doing. I can see activity, performance. I can even go over here and look at math time. Um, and once again, I can click this to go into individual students. I can also see things like your mastery percentage, benchmark, student progress. I can also manage like what content you guys are seeing as well and there's leaderboards, you can donate to charities, things like that. Um, but the reason I wanted to show this to you guys is it provides me with a lot of information the more you guys do, which in turn allows me to help you guys heading forward into next year um, and allows me to you know encourage you guys to stay on track. So this is what I see when I can when I complete the work uh, when you guys complete the work. Um, this is what I'm able to see. There's a lot of information that comes my way that I can share with you and your parents. And when we uh, do start up school next year, who knows? I may be pulling out some data to reward the kids who have been doing an exceptional job in Imagine Math over the summer. So with that said, the expectation for today's assignment is to complete at least 20 minutes of Imagine Math. Um, I would say really to at least complete a full lesson, which would take... A little more than 20 minutes but once you do that I will see it in my activity feed I'll update it on my tracker and you'll be done for uh, the school year